The Irish last kicker. What a career Becky Lynch has had so far here in WWE. Hey, listen, I remember when Becky Lynch first came to NXT. She had moved to Orlando, Florida to be a personal trainer. Never thought she'd get the opportunity to be part of this company. And now she is one of the premier superstars in our women's division. Credited with much of the women's evolution. Plenty of star power in this tag team match, guys, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, Michael. In fact, if you ask me, all four of these competitors have what it takes to be top single stars here in the WWE. As we get ready for this tag team match, Byron, tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael, you know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other. Stay with us. We've got a huge tag team match coming up. And both these teams come into tonight looking to make a statement, which means we might see these two teams do things we've never seen them do in the past. Patricia Hart and 
Yuri Suzuki. Stay right where you are, people. And here we go. This tag team match oh, is man. going to be heated, to say the least. Tag team action in full effect, guys. And these superstars are about to show all you folks what it's all about. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. We're at a crossroads. Neither competitor is backing down here. starting to falter. She's got to remember her championship dreams are on the line here. She's, she might have it. She better do something fast. She fights out. But that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. No. DDT! Lights out. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Harsh impact. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was a team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. We're looking at complete domination here. She comes up big with a reversal. Victory is on the horizon. Uh, oh, no doubt about that one. Textbook takedown. She goes for the cover. And the champ kicks out. Well, too early for that. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. 
You can bet she still has eyes on becoming champion, though. She's definitely slowing down here a bit, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for her. Not by a long shot. Oh, what power and drop kick! Uh-oh. She better do something fast. Big time. Oh, right to the back. She's clearly not getting paid by the hour. Digging deep for a kick out. Looks like there's some more fight left in her. Boom, what impact. You gotta believe this one's over. When she gets in attack mode, look out. She's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Oh, nasty impact. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Beautiful technique. Tag team championship up for grabs. Which nailed it. Nice. Shut it down. That's the kind of execution she's been looking for. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Nice exploder suplex. The champ's in a real bad place right now. There have been times in sports entertainment when up. And Corey, she releases the hold. It's like a questionable decision on paper, but I'm sure she has something up her sleeve here, Cole. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see this. Ooh, the title is slipping away here. Not so fast. She breaks it. Yeah, but it's got to just be a matter of time before she gets picked off here. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's court, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's court. Russian leg sweep. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalya's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Yeah, I love the effort here, but she'd better hope she can sustain it. Gonna have to get back in the ring here, guys. Running out of time. Oh. Oh, no. 
He'll do it. Leg drop. Becky Lynch is looking for the ending. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea. We know what this is. It's a stampede. point that people have been talking about for years and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. She's looking at it. This may very well be it. Axe handle finds its target. King it out of that man used up her last bit of energy. I can't believe she kicked out there. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the... Uh oh Becky Lynch may have it. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Watch this here. Oh, what a kick! History might be made here. I think Becky Lynch just secured this match. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line! New champion! New champion! Don't know if it's going to work, but Becky is playing mind games now. She wants to do this in the ring. Peggy Lynch going for it, trying to make a comeback. And with that, ooh, what impact. We might be looking at a victory for Becky here. Becky Lynch is looking to fly. Look at him go. Here we go, Becky Lynch. Big splash. Game, set, match, this one is over. All that's left now is for Becky Lynch to finish. We're looking at complete domination here. She might have it. Boom! <laughs> Man, look like quickly into the cover with the title on the line! Look out, guys! Right to the back of the neck! She's licking her chops. down deep and gets the shoulder up. Still in it. Harsh impact. She's looking at them. Is it enough to put Becky away? Wow, kicking butt and taking names. She is on fire. And she's driven down hard. This might just be the end of the road for her. She might have it. And she looked like she had no chance just a few moments ago. Jeez, I don't like Becky Lynch's chances in this one. She's looking at it. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Superplex! Oh, man, did you see the impact? Is it enough to put Becky away? Does Becky Lynch even know where she is? She's able to get out of the way there. Looking defenseless right now. She's got to get back in the ring, Michael. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Oh, nasty. 
the impact. Drop kick right on point. Beautiful technique. Looks like we might just... There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. You've got to believe this one's over. Really working over the body. Ooh, what an man. uppercut. Super kick. Gosh. What a strike. Right on the mark. She's almost out of it. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Oh. Neck breaker! Oh. Tagged in. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Dodges that one. Comes up big with the reversal. champion here guys I wouldn't be surprised if that caused some serious internal injuries uh-oh you can see the confidence just beaming from her right now Becky Lynch just too fast for her Oh man, the champ looks absolutely out of it right now. One, two. The Irish last kicker telling her opponents how she really feels. Oh, continuing to punish them. in the last one. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Oh, and the ref gets absolutely floored. Yeah, but let's be honest. The light breeze would knock him over. This might be it. Oh, my. She's looking at it. It doesn't look like she's going to get her to... She works her way out of that one. She's still got a bit of an uphill climb here, though. Escapes trouble there. Ooh, what impact. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. And the slam. Tag Team Championship at stake. Which team wants it more? Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Boom, what impact.
This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Chair. Oh man, what a driver! That should do it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the table just shook a bit. Now that's an impressive tag team victory. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. That's a woman on a mission. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Man, this was great. She proves she has what it takes to be one of the best in the business. Here are your winners, and still the mixed tag team, Patricia Hart and Yuri Suzuki. What a grueling match. It looked like anybody's match there toward the end. Well, when you put women like these together, what do you expect to happen? Thank you for tuning in tonight, folks. We hope you enjoyed that great match.